All right. Here we go again. What it do, what it do, what's happening? All right. I'm going to just start this shit off freestyle. It's been a minute I haven't been on here, so man, life is about growth, you know? You grow. If you're not growing in life, You are wasting your time, man. It's about growth. And, uh, it's been a lot of growth going on in my life. So, I didn't really have time to, to get on here. You know what I'm saying? But I really, what I really want to say is that Everybody needs to get out their feelings, man. See, resentment. Resentment is really a... is a huge block in your life. If you live with resentment, you, you become blind to your blessings. If you live in resentment, you can't really fulfill your purpose and you can't really fulfill what you were put on earth to do because resentment is resentment is like a huge demon that carries people and makes them forget who they are because they live in resentment you're living in in, in a certain emotional damage or block it in your life and you, you it is draining all your energy from evolving and growing and become becoming who you're really supposed to become so i want everybody who, li who hear me right now if you hear this right now i need you to stop living in resentment meaning that you have negative negative feelings or emotions against other people or you blame other people for certain stuff you need to get rid of all these resentments man once you do that in your life you will grow you will, you will start to see new things coming into your life bigger blessings that you ever expected before so get rid of them resentments man for real for real that's that's something i really have to get out the way right now I want everybody to stop living in resentment. Stop, stop caring or, or, or stop caring about what other people do. And stop, stop looking at other people all the time and, and 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 have negative emotions and thoughts against those people because you really can only focus on your own and change your own life for what you want it to be. So resentment is make is turning a lot of people blind. Don't let that shit fool you for real. You won't even realize until you really start practicing it and seeing it for yourself. You feel me?
A lot of failed careers because of resentments. And you wonder how people, and you wonder how people still can be successful is because they didn't let their emotions and feelings block them from fulfilling the mission. That's really what it is. Especially now in this day and time where they're trying to fool us and trying to make us think with our emotions with all these wars going on and you should pick a side and all that shit. No. We're all human beings and we're all the same. We all, we all carry the same design within us. We all got a brain. We all got a heart. So... We can all make the same decisions that make logically sense and stop thinking about and stop thinking emotionally about all that dumb ass shit that's going on. We can't do nothing about these wars. These wars are none of our problems. We can't do nothing about all the bullshit that's going on. All we can do is change ourselves and so change our environment by doing that. For real. A lot of people live in competition with other people. Once you forget your purpose and once you don't know who you are, you start to focus on other people and you start draining other people to survive. You can, you can compare that to the consumption that's going on in this planet. Like, you're looking at all the not only the food, but also the artists with the entertainment that's going on. A lot of people just drain each other for ideas because they don't know who you are. If they were tapping into their self, they could really bring something to the table. And it ain't nothing wrong by getting inspired. But I remember in the 90s, 90s rap was always about adding to hip hop, every artist was always saying that you ain't a real rapper if you're not adding something to the table, something new. So you really gotta bring your own style. Is that is what that means? You gotta have your own style, you know. But you can't have your own style if you don't know who you are. If you really know who you are, you can develop your own style because. That, that goes very deep. You got to really, your parents got to, first of all, teach you, right? You, you got to know who your parents are. You got to know who your grandparents are. And you got to know why you like certain shit in life. And you know why you do, because it's all linked to your ancestral code, DNA code. Why you like certain stuff and why you fascinated by certain stuff and why you inspired by certain stuff. But if you don't understand where that is coming from, you won't understand where you're going. So, you really got to learn yourself, meaning all your ancestors, your parents, your grandparents, and where did they come from, and then you, you got to figure out what your mission is in this world over here, how you can make this place a more positive place, <coughs> because we all know this world has a lot of demons, this world is full of demons, it's full of low living beings, that's why we feel we being punished while living here because there's too much negative shit going on. So if we could all just figure out who we really are and fulfill our purpose, meaning that we're going to make a better place on this world and, and, and do something positive, transform the energy from negative and positive to, to transform this world's energy into something brighter and turn it into a brighter light, you know, that then... That's what we're really supposed to do, you know. Transforming it, you know. And that, and only we can do that. That's all up to us, you know. And I really feel like 
the war between positive and negative is coming to an end. And, and we're going to see beyond that. We're going to see what's beyond positive and negative. Because this world is such a black and white looking planet. It's like very basic and primitive the way we live thinking of a white colored person don't like another person for a darker skin tone. That's very primitive. You know, and, and looking at things as positive and negative meaning you're supposed to be positive when in all actuality life goes beyond positive and negative. Because there's always going to be some tragedies happening in life, and that's just a part of life. And we can't, we can't accept that. The world can't accept that at the moment. We, we can't accept that there is tragedies in life. That's just a part of life. No, human beings have a hard time accepting that. You know, but they demonizing it on purpose so. We, we become scared, and that's how they put the fear in people, by telling them that there is positive and negative. You should only be getting tuned with the positive. I'm not saying you're supposed to be negative, but you should know the energies, because they're always going to be there. A fish in the ocean might get eaten by a shark. That's a tragedy. You can't do nothing by it. That's nature. So... They telling us that it's a bad thing. Well, we're supposed to be in touch with both energies, and then we can go beyond positive and negative and understand a higher level of thinking. You feel me? It's just like the same, like in the ancient cultures, they prostitution was something sacred because they knew. Human beings just get horny, and you can't do nothing about it. So in the Asian culture, they considered prostitution as something sacred. And I'm talking about the ancient Sumerian culture, where they built temples of prostitution, and they donated all the money to build the temples for God. You see? So who are we to say that was something bad? And they donated all the money of prostitution to God to make to build temples and and and, and invest into progress of their civilization. You see? But nowadays they demonizing everything. They demonizing the human ways. You would never you could never change the human ways if you don't accept it. That's who we are. It's, if we can't accept that, we won't grow beyond that. That's just what it is, what you want to do. That's why you got sometimes people that go to the extreme because they gain a certain admiringness or admiration by, doing, by going to the extreme because people then can relate because it's a hidden feeling within them. You feel me? What you want to do? The perception is what's important and intentions. What are, what are your intentions? You got to have positive intentions. You got to have elevating intentions. You see, when I say elevating, you see how that shit rings a bell? Because when you're talking about positive and negative, it's so easy to say, oh, that's negative or that's positive. But but if, if you can't accept the negative, you're not going to elevate. If you can't accept the positive, you're not going to elevate and go beyond that. So you see, it's a deprogramming of the mind that has to take place. And the more people that do it on this world, the, the faster this world will change. The faster they will put us into tests. They will, will put us to tests. You see this whole fuckery that's going on on the planet. That's a test. If you can't, if you can't remain focused 
on, on what you got to do in life. Me meaning that you got to elevate. Evolution is the meaning of life. To evolve into something greater that can benefit the world. This world could be such a genius place. You know how many geniuses there is on this planet that created great inventions that nobody's talking about? How we could just drive cars without wasting any energy, without without fucking the, abusing the, the nature and, and stripping it all butt naked. So, so many geniuses on this planet that could change the world. All is all that it takes is a, is a change of the system. You know that's 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 really what's got to take place. A change of the system. And you see, it's getting hotter. And this summer has been the hottest summer I ever witnessed. Most real shit. So the sun is giving us all this energy, this all this light, so we it can brighten up our spirit and our minds, so we can elevate. And, and, and the sun is really giving us that information. The sun is beaming out. It's beaming down information because this has been shining for millions of years, billions of years. The sun has so much information because it's all tra traveling through light. The information is traveling through light. So the, so the sun is, is like a storage of, of information and it's shining it down to us. You know what I'm saying? So nature, was, nature is the most fastest elevating light there is that's why the best thing you can do is really tap into that into that genetic field energy field you know you got to tap into that yeah calling me now.